Number 100, identify the molecules with a dipole moment. And then we have H2CO. Okay, so does H2CO, which is formaldehyde, yum. <laughs> um, does formaldehyde, H2CO, have a dipole moment? Well, any molecule that has a dipole moment has an unequal sharing of electrons somewhere in the molecule. And this is caused by elements that are really, really electronegative. If you have one electronegative element that's in the molecule, they're always the greedy ones that steal the electrons away. And they, they, they pull the electrons to, you know, themselves. So you can kind of think of this as like a tug of war between two atoms. A electronegative element will take the rope and pull it closer to themselves leaving the other atom really, really sad and saying, where'd my electrons go? <laughs> um, but the electronegative element doesn't care, right? It wants all the, the um, electrons to itself, basically. So that's what we're trying to find out here. Do we have any of these baddies that will give us a dipole moment? And by baddies, I mean electronegative elements. Now let's see. In order to figure this out, the, the, easiest way to go about this is to take a minute and draw the Lua structure. It's one extra step, but opening up the Lua structure and drawing it out really will show you a lot of things about the compound. It will show you dipole moments, molecular polarity, bond polarity, hybridization, geometry. You could get all those answers by just looking at a Lua structure. So take a second, pause the video if you need to, and try to draw the Lua structure to H2CO and then see if yours matches mine. Now there's tons of videos on the channel just designated to helping you draw the Lua structures in which we go step by step. Um, you know, just going over the rules, figuring out how to draw it. But we did those already, so let's see. Let's put the Lua structure to the test. So remember, hydrogen is never in the middle. And if we have carbon and oxygen, the least electronegative always goes in the middle. Oxygen is more electronegative, so carbon has to be in the middle because it's less electronegative. And then you got two hydrogens surrounding the carbon. Doesn't matter where you put them. Maybe I'll just put them right here, one and two. And then you have the one oxygen bound to the center. So maybe I'll put the oxygen up here. And I'll just go like that, okay. And maybe I'll bring this a little bit down. So remember, hydrogens can only make one bond. So one bond that is. And now carbon wants to have the octet, right? It wants to have the octet with the oxygen. So if I just put a single bond here, this carbon would have two, four, six electrons. The octet means it's got to have eight. So I need a double bond. And because of that, the oxygen has the two lone pairs. Now, if we have that unequal pull, we have an electron that's pulling the electrons away from the, the other, you know, the other elements in a specific bond. But just know that that unequal pull will always give a polar molecule. So once you draw the Lewis structure, you can always snap it out. S-N-A-P. If you have a completely symmetrical molecule, and everything is all the same, you have a nonpolar molecule. And nonpolar means no dipole. Everybody's happy. There's no baddies in there. There's no really, um, you know, one electronegative element that is like clearly taking the electrons away. So everything is nice and cool. But an asymmetrical molecule means that you have a polar molecule. There is a pole. And because you have a pole, you have a dipole moment. So I have to see if there is symmetry. Ooh, that's cool. I have to see if there's symmetry somewhere in this molecule. So, eh, right? If I cut it this way, kind of like horizontally, I have hydrogens on the bottom and I have oxygen on the top. This is way asymmetrical. And remember, oxygen is the most electronegative element here. So in this double bond, the oxygen is going to 
pull those electrons to itself, leaving carbon not really having these electrons. Those four electrons are going to be more closer to the oxygen than the carbon. So we know that this is asymmetrical. There is clearly a pull towards the oxygen. The oxygen is the, is the most electronegative element. And since we have that, we have a polar molecule. And because of that, we have a dipole moment. Oh yeah. And then box it off, call it a video. And that's it. What'd you think? I love, I love the Lewis structures, mainly because I love organic. And hopefully one day we'll be able to put out more organic uh, uh, questions on the channel. But yeah, drawing Lewis structures, organic chemistry. Ah, am I the only one? <laughs> I might be the only one. But anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming to the video. Thank you for supporting us and, um, you know, giving us kind comments in the comments section. Um, thank you for all your support and for being part of this community. You guys rock. And I'm so glad that this channel can help you out in your classes. Check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos on the channel at the moment uh, with more subjects coming your way. So I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. I hope you have a great day. Everything is rhyming today. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have to end it.